The rush to vaccinate from Baltimore to the eastern shore, the effort to bring doses to the most vulnerable communities as variants rise. Hello again, I'm Max McGee. And I'm Denise Koch. Well, eligibility for the vaccine will begin to open next week and around the state today. Mobile clinics were bringing the doses to many who have had a hard time going to those mass vaccination sites. Maryland has recorded more than 1,000 new infections for the past two days straight. WJZ investigator Mike Helgren live at MT Bank Stadium with the latest of Developments in the vaccine race. Mike, what can you tell us? Max Denise, there are some troubling signs. The CDC is reporting more cases of contagious variants in the state. The positivity rate is also up, and there are several dozen more cases at city schools. But there are also signs of hope. I'm ready. I'm ready. Let's go. The race is on to get people in Maryland's underserved communities vaccinated. James Adams did not hesitate to get the shot at a mobile clinic in South Baltimore. He's lost many people he loves to COVID-19. I've lost count, but there's a lot of hurting families that are still hurting. Adams is the 1,000th person vaccinated as part of MedStar's mobile efforts. I feel like I just paid the mortgage off of my home. I know that's right. At the University of Maryland, Baltimore, another vaccine clinic is only for those who live in the city, referred here by the Baltimore Health Department. I believe it's a, it's, it's a death threat. You know, to anyone that, that don't get it, I've, you know, watched the news and I'm just scared. I'm just scared not to get it. And on the eastern shore, the Maryland National Guard set up a mobile vaccine site in Princess Anne. Staff Sergeant Brittany Barnhart spoke to me from the bus they stocked up in Baltimore. There are places that, that don't have the access to get to Baltimore for the, the super sites or Waldorf. So coming over here is a huge deal for the community. The vaccination rush comes as the governor is about to open eligibility, promising everyone will be able to make an appointment by the end of next month. We're getting up to close to two dozen states um, having either opened eligibility to all adults or planning to do so. The state is seeing a rise in troubling variants. The CDC says there are now 272 total cases in Maryland, up 15 percent over last week. And the Baltimore Teachers Union says there are 24 new cases in city public schools, a development the union called alarming. We are by no means guaranteed to, to be spared um, from another surge in cases. I don't think any of us want to have that kind of setback now when we're so close to the finish line. And as of today, there are at least 246 cases of the UK variant here in Maryland. Reporting live at MT Bank Stadium, Mike Helgren, WJZ.